Hi, we're back again. So I was talking to you about vases and making them even and that I sometimes had a difficult time with that. So I just cut myself a little template and what it does is it enables me to be able to check my vase and make sure that I'm somewhat um, spot on when it comes to it being even. It's very easy to just cut a little shape that uh, gives you a flat edge, like especially maybe along the bottom. Pop it right on there. Make sure that you're straight. Give yourself a nice bottom edge. Just run your brush right along there. You can always fill in with uh, the colors that you need later to um, blend it into the background. But like I said, it, it's a, a little cheat that just gets your vase straight, if you want it straight. Now, <laughs> you know, a lot of times you may want to uh, have a little crook in your vase for some interest in your painting. There's certainly nothing wrong with that. That's actually great. So now I see where I need to straighten up my my face here. I'm going to take a little brown and straighten this face up where I need to. And that will give me a nice crisp look to the painting. So I wanted to pull a little bit of that reddish brown background in over here anyway, so that just gave me a cheap excuse to do that. There. See? Nice and straight. Alright. Now I am going to make a uh, sort of bottom rim on this vase here. So I'm just going to get, again, I'm going to let my little template help me out here because again, especially with my essential tremors, which makes it difficult for me to do a straight line, not stopping me from painting, but it does Cause me a little bit of problems every once in a while. I'm just going to give myself a little bit of help there and get a bottom baseline going on. That Now I'll straighten that up a little bit later too. I find that what, oops, I'm running into my paints there. I find that what I need at the end is to lay the painting down flat and be able to really put my hand on it and get a nice straight line. Again, terrible that I have to deal with this, but it certainly isn't stopping me from painting. Nothing would do that. So I'm just gonna give a little straightening to my bottom here and um, then we'll worry about that fine detail later when it comes to getting it completely straight. I can run a really nice straight line on there, like I said, later. All right, we're coming along. So I'm going to bring a little bit of the uh, green back in this stem that I have lost. And I am using a little water in with my paints. I lost a little bit of my stem here when I was doing my base, so I'm going to bring it back. here with a little of that
bring some highlights in there. Again, I didn't like that real green green. I wanted more of a uh, yellowy green. So I was able to pull a little of that back in here and give myself a little lift on the edge. Bring a little bit of that shaded green back in there. And then bring a little bit of that green to crisp up my edge. Remember I told you we'd be going back and crisping up all these edges later. So that's why I said I didn't have to worry about them. because you can always go back in and fix anything. It's the beauty of paint. You never have to worry because it is simply paint. And you can rework it at any time. Okay, I like that little bit of a yellowy green in here. So I'm just going to pull that right on over, right on over into this, and we're beginning to just bring those um, really subtle little fixes back in here. I don't want to make this too perfect. Remember, I want that little bit of an abstract flare to shine through, but I do want to get these lines crisped up because I let them go when I was doing my background. Bring a little real white white in there for some nice highlights. And where I got my background smeared on there, I'm going to fix that. Just tightening it up a little bit. Again, not making it too perfect because I like that element of a little bit of a abstract flair to it. Um, but I do want to tighten it up. I have to actually stand up to do this to get some edges on there. And again, I need a really tight edge 
right here on this tiny little tendril that we're bringing around there. just like back and forth fixing areas we're not happy with whoops tightening things up I'll be bringing black back in there to tighten up whoa and then of course I always get my big old hands in there so I have to get my black and tighten up a few areas that I smeared in there <laughs> but that's all right this is actually oh I did it again well we are just having a good old time here um let me just get rid of that. But this, again, I just love it. This is the beauty of paint. Just go right over those little glitches that you created because they erase very simply. Like that. See? All gone. Just get rid of them. We don't like them. Let's just get rid of them. Just tighten up your painting. You have a little miss there. Fix it. Again, I have to get up close and personal with my painting at this point because of my control being a little bit compromised sometimes. All right. I'm going to tighten this stem. We are tightening it up here. All right. And a little bit of that red in there because I like that red. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that would not be the case. Here's a crazy little thing that I just did. I can't have red coming down in the background where blue is needed. So I need to take that off and fix that right now. That is not going to work. So I'm going to tape off where the blue would show through behind our glass. A little bit of the blue, not the red. And again, tightening that up. Let's get just a little bit more of that blue showing through there instead of the red. Just 
bring a little bit of that blue tone in there. And again, these are the kind of final little playing that we're going to do here. We're almost going to just wrap this up because, you know, I don't have time to do much more to it. I'm just going to bring a few little white highlights in there where we see the bottom. better. Now we've got a little bit of uh, shadow cast there. Now the last thing we're going to do is I want to bring the tiniest little orange right there. That just sets it off a little bit. All right. Well, other than a few little shadows here and there, I think we are going to call this painting done. I'm going to just put a little bit of a uh, very slight gray shadow in a few little areas here. And then we're going to call this painting done. Because this was just supposed to be a fun afternoon. And the afternoon's over. <laughs> so we are going to wrap it up. I'm going to bring a tiny little shadow under here. in a little bit just to uh, A little bit of water there. Now you're just playing the final couple final little details.
think we're going to call it done. What do you think? Fun? Did you have fun this afternoon? I certainly hope so. And we'll have a series of just fun little afternoon paintings coming up here. And then you can just enjoy. Of course, you've got to sign it. Most important part, get yourself a nice little thin brush with a little bit of medium or water on there and figure out what you want your signature to be and then just sign it up. You don't like that signature? Guess what? Erase it. Take it off. Do it again. Again, my name is Cheryl Condit, and I will see you next time for another bit of play on a nice afternoon. we go. Last little thing. Nice little signature. I think we've got it. Anything else you want to do? Do it now or forever hold your peace. Wonderful. I had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. And we'll see you again next week. Hmm. Do one last little thing. You know, very, very well-placed highlights can make a huge difference. And I just want this little wing to come alive. So, we're going to make sure it has lots of power. Alrighty. Thank you. See you next week.